court has uh, in fact uh, refused to grant him interim bail. The Supreme Court has also slammed Heman Soren for not disclosing several facts. In fact, Kapil Sibbal, who appeared on behalf of Heman Soren, has now withdrawn the bail p uh, petition. Uh, Supreme Court has refused to quash his arrest. Sunil Prabhu joins us with the very latest. Sunil, it's a huge setback for Heman Soren. What happened in court? Well, it is a big setback for uh, the uh, former Chief Minister of uh, Jharkhand, uh, Mr. Heman Soren, uh, who has, uh, uh, through his counsel, has finally decided uh, to withdraw because uh, the Supreme Court uh, didn't seem inclined at all uh, to, uh, you know, uh, listen to the, uh, Mr. Heman Soren's uh, petition challenging his arrest and, and by the enforcement director in money laundering case. The grounds were, of course, that he believed, uh, as the Supreme Court uh, said, uh, you haven't come uh, with clean hands. You haven't come here uh, and you haven't told us about the cognizance order. You haven't kept us abreast. Uh, Mr. Civil continuously tried to say uh, that we did come. Uh, we had no attempt to hoodwink the court. Uh, but based on procedure and based on this ground, if you are going to dismiss it, then I will have to uh, withdraw the petition. Uh, and it was finally decided uh, to withdraw the petition after the Supreme Court uh, was not inclined. Uh, the uh, uh, Supreme Court was very, very categorical uh, and saying that uh, the ground that, you know, you had suppressed facts about the cognizance uh, uh, order of the trial court against uh, him. Uh, this uh, seems uh, to allow uh, that, you know, he will have to continue uh, to remain in custody. He will not be allowed to campaign uh, for the India Alliance and the JMM uh, uh, and he will be confined to the jail uh, at present. So uh, uh, this, of course, as I, as I explained to you, uh, the Supreme Court uh, for two days, uh, you heard this entire matter, uh, and Mr. Sibyl, the Sorin's lawyer, uh, taking personal uh, uh, responsibility for the mistake that was committed in terms of not uh, filing the cognizance order, uh, and uh, the Supreme Court uh, not uh, happy with that decision, saying you haven't come with clean hands, you're suppressed facts, and that's the reason for why we are dismissing uh, the petition. So uh, it's uh, finally uh, a big, big setback for Mr. Hemant Sturen uh, in this important case. What does this mean for the former Chief Minister going forward? Well, what it uh, definitely means is now that he'll have to again freshly apply for bail. Uh, it's not going to be possible uh, immediately because there are, uh, uh, before the elections, as you're well aware, this is going to be a time consuming affair. Uh, and uh, uh, it basically means that he will remain in custody, in jail, uh, unless, of course, the uh, legal reprieves are followed. Uh, and uh, as uh, uh, no less than the judges themselves said, uh, we can only express our hope uh, because it's become very difficult for us to regulate the business of the high courts. Uh, but, uh, uh, and on this point, uh, Mr. Sibyl is uh, pointing out in terms of personal liberty, uh, about the issue of personal liberties, uh, talking Krishna Iyer and various other cases, uh, even after the Supreme Court has dismissed that entire petition. All right. Well, uh, we will, of course, continue to track the details uh, of this story very closely. But like you said, uh, uh, you know, it's a huge setback for uh, Heman Sorain, the Supreme Court refusing to consider Sorain's bail. Uh, and, uh, you know, also, if you could just, uh, Sunil, uh, comment on uh, why Kapil Sibyl has withdrawn the bail petition after what the court has said. Because uh, he, he, the fact that the Supreme Court was going to uh, dismiss it and say that you have come with not clean hands and suppressed facts, uh, that would be a strong indict indictment towards him. Uh, and that he felt that that would not be good for his clients. And that's the reason why he asked him to withdraw from the entire proceeding. So uh, he said, I would like to withdraw the petition because that will become prejudicial. Because if you do that, uh, then later on when you go to the lower court or the high court, which will, which will now have to be the case, uh, this uh, the fact that you have, uh, you know, been uh, suppressing information and not uh, informing the court in the Supreme Court will be uh, a big, uh, uh, you know, uh, in terms of legal uh, uh, parlance, uh, a big uh, setback for uh, the uh, for his client in this case, Heman Soren. So uh, that's the reason. Uh, as Mr. Sibyl explained, and for our viewers. And Mr. Heyman Soren is in custody. Mr. Sibyl took personal, uh, uh, you know, responsibility for it, saying that uh, he is my uh, client. We have not spoken to him. We have not been able to speak to him because he's in custody. And it's all, we have been acting on his behalf. And the client should not be held responsible for suppressing the information. But uh, the Supreme Court wasn't at all convinced about this. And they were uh, ready to dismiss the petition. But as I said, at the last minute, 
Mr. Subil uh, using his uh, legal uh, uh, liberty uh, ask for withdrawing the petition so that it does not become prejudicial uh, to his uh, uh, client. In this case, Mr. Hemant Sareh, who is the former Chief Minister of uh, Jharkhand. All right. Uh, thanks very much for joining us uh, with the very latest.